Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys more in depth about the item messages using the GRF editor in Universal Minecraft Editor. So I'll be showing you guys some cool things that you can do in this program and some things that you probably didn't know. And so anyways, let's get right into it. So here we are in the messages tab right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new message. And so as you probably know, you can type your message in right here. So whatever you want to do, you can just go ahead and do that. So if I wanted to say, hello world, then I can go ahead and type hello world. Very simple. And then, you know, obviously I can add the messages to the, the items here. So whatever item I want to add this to. So let's say I want to add this to stump. So I could do that very easy. We'll do uh, blacklist mode, of course, just so that it's on. I think it's so it's on every. And, and so, you know, you can do that very easy. Rename the message. And so very standard. But you can do a lot more than this. So if you wanted to uh, get a little bit more advanced with these sort of things, there's a lot of cool things you can do with your messages. And so what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys the potential of what you can do with your custom messages and how you guys can be doing them inside your own. So anyways, let me go ahead and pull up this page here. And so what this is, is it pretty much is is a site made by Noble Des, and so what this site is, is it just kind of has a database, or it's just kind of a forum of everything that you can do with these GRF messages, and so there's pretty much just research and stuff like that, so the whole modding community is kind of coming together and trying to see how much we can do uh, with this file. And so there's three sections here that we have so far, message pictures, message button icons, and font styling. So let's go ahead and open this first one here. And so this one's probably the coolest one it is the fact that you can have pictures inside your custom messages so as you can see here um, you know here's this example of where he pretty much just wrote in some code you can see the code right here on the message preview and then you can go ahead and see what it looks like in the game and so what he was able to do was he was able to pretty much see these icons and their icon names and he goes and he copies the icon name over into the tool and so like let's say I wanted to have the three hungry bars I can go ahead and copy that and then I can go ahead and put it into universal minecraft editor and I can put it right there and so now I'm going to have the three hunger bars in my message and so it'll look something uh, like this in the game which is pretty cool and then same thing like this armor one hunger and it's just a pretty cool thing in general so you can have something like that and you get this really cool result uh, and as well as that you can pretty much throw tons of cool images in there uh, so there's just kind of a lot of things going on and there's also the one of the tutorial world so if you just want to throw that in it's right in there as well he just threw that in to show it off uh, but just for the fact it exists in the game so it's a it's a picture that you can pretty much pull up uh, but what we got here is message button icons and so these this one's you know kind of a big list but this one's also really neat as well is that it shows all the buttons in the game uh, so as you can see here, there's pretty much X, A, Y, B, etc. So you can see all the buttons there, and they look pretty cool. So there's just like tons of them. Um, so you can pretty much see them all referenced here. So let's say for some reason you wanted to teach a player how to press a button for whatever reason. Then you can go ahead and get that button. Let's say I wanted the player to press the X button when they picked up an item or something. Then I can go ahead and put that into my message. So if I just went and copied that, paste it into Universal Minecraft Editor, then as you can see, I can just put it in and then that will appear um, right there as well, which is pretty cool. It's just the fact that it's just kind of there. And um, so pretty much everything that we've discovered so far, so pretty much buttons, we have the pictures, stuff like that can all be found in this kind of database here. So for whatever reason you need this, you can go ahead and do that. And it makes this really nice, um, you know, effect of being able to have buttons show up for whatever you need. As well as that, there's also this kind of thing here which shows an item in the game, uh, which is really neat as well. So you can go ahead and do that uh, as well. So it just kind of shows the item that you picked up. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. So at least uh, there's that as well. So uh, like before, like once you pick up the item, then it kind of shows it in the little uh, thing there. But then we go to this last one here. And so this last one is colored text. So we can have colored text, which you probably know is that colored text already exists in the game. However, it's in a different format uh, when you do it on the GRF stuff. And so if you want to have color text on your GRF, then you can go ahead and copy one of these codes for each of the colors. So white, black, red, blue, aqua, green, etc. And so you can have all of these colors right here uh, for whatever you need. So let's say you want to have something display in light purple. So you copy this and then you can go ahead and put it on and uh, the text will appear in light purple, which is pretty cool. And so you can see an example of this as well right here is that he has all the colors 
on this kind of uh, thing right here and it looks pretty cool uh, so you kind of get this neat effect of having the colors as well uh, on your little dialogue box and it kind of pushes the inventory to the side as well uh, when you're in the creative menu which is pretty neat um, is that it, it kind of automatically does that small little thing but I think that's kind of cool uh, so pretty much what he did is he put that on black wool so every time he grabs black wool uh, from the creative inventory it pops up this dialogue box and so it does it nine 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 times so pretty much almost infinitely but honestly you're probably not gonna ever get there unless you really try uh, but basically every single time you open that in this world every single time you you pick the black wool it's going to display this so let's say you wanted to tell somebody something when they pick a certain item or maybe like you know something just triggers something and you can kind of do that in a creative world for whatever reason you want to do that for you can kind of tell players hey you can do this or you know some sort of thing there obviously like there's probably a lot more that there is to discover there's lots of cool like tags and stuff like that that are being discovered as we speak and so hopefully we'll see a lot more soon and if there's anything really cool discovered I'll try to show it off for you guys but there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this program and honestly I think you guys should really try and play around with it and see what you can find of course you know maybe even play around in the advanced section and see what you could possibly even do in there um, but at least like it seems like it's a pretty cool uh, tool to kind of just play around with GRF it's like you know clean and easy and you can kind of just simply do things like this like I showed off in today's video uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video I was trying to let you guys know uh, how you can do this stuff in your own worlds so if you want to go ahead and use this then you can go ahead and do that but uh, I did not discover these myself this was found by the modding community of course so credit goes to them for discovering these really cool things that we can do with the GRF file but you know, all go, uh, credit goes to them. Noble Devs made the website that I went on, which I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself and play around with some of these cool things that I showed off in today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and peace.